second phase lacks Asia. She's such a baddie, though. She's such a baddie. She's beating my ass, but she's a baddie, so... <laughs> I'm cooked. Dude, I need to, like, find out a strat or something. I think I need to look up a strat, honestly. I did a motivity build. I'm pretty strong. One thing I haven't done is I haven't used my points for capacity. I've just been light rolling with like almost no defensive things. But I don't, I don't get one shot, so that's fine. Like I'm like at 25 health. I forget what they call it in that game. It's different every Souls like, right? But. Doing second phase. So yeah, you have to block. Okay. I found a. I, so. The step dodge system was kind of weird at first because it's not like souls where you just have like a pure iframe. It's like directional. Like you have iframes, yeah, but it also depends on which direction the move swings because the moves have like lingering hurt boxes. So like some bosses, I had an easier time parrying and then some bosses, uh, especially the ergo oriented enemies or the acid ones you really don't want to parry them so i don't know dude liza p has a i haven't mastered it yet but yeah i'm almost done with my first playthrough and i'll definitely try to get that 100 percent after that the game's really cool the story is phenomenal you haven't mastered it either dude, it's tough it's very difficult which i think that's the point yeah it's a souls it's a souls inspired game I also do love the recharging pulse cell mechanic, but also I think I would redistribute my points differently, knowing how the game kind of works, but yeah. I definitely think I would have invested more into the attack tree, but I can simply reset them using the golden fruits. The golden fruits are interesting because like the more time you play, the more golden fruits you get, you can like reset your level and shit with them, so it's like perfect for a casual player. And speedrunners aren't going to be, like, resetting in any way. They're not going to be respecting the, the game. The, like, routes are already mapped, so. Oh, um, I've just been consuming them for Ergo. Um, I did use one. Um, Nameless. Because when you... I forget what boss I got it from. But, um... It gives you the chance to not use a Pulse Cell. And I don't use it anymore, but I did use that one to unlock... Right now, my setup is I have a, um, I'm using the, the starting saber as my blade, <laughs> and I changed my handle to the um, baton handle. It's like a greatsword handle, which changed my moveset slightly, but no big deal because um, it gives me an A motivity scaling instead of a B with the crank. So that's why I changed handles. Um, I don't use the handle spec. I pretty much only use the like blade spec. Which is um, the saber one? It's, it's called like quick. It's called like swift slash or something. Um, and there's a good combination of stabbing and slashing with the saber plus great sword handle move set. So yeah, those boss weapons look. I de I definitely they did look good, but I like to do what's it called one weapon per playthrough. I think that's just like the fun of souls, you know. Like, if the variety in a Pokemon playthrough is, like, maining different Pokemon... Because you pretty much always do one-man army in a Pokemon game. Or maybe two-man army. Like, it's I pretty much always one-man army. You know what I mean? Like, only in competitive Pokemon or PvP Pokemon where they cap the level is the only time you don't just one-man army a Pokemon game. Like, my other Pokemon are simply, like, their passives. And, like, I use them to use items on my main Pokemon. So... But yeah, exactly. Like, so your playthrough is like Salamander Dagger, and you like invested in it. You're using an advanced build, which, by the way, I'm not really using the. I've not like used the Legion Arms at all. The only time my entire playthrough I've used a Legion Arm is when Romeo does his uh fucking waterfowl, like the fire waterfowl. I would use the Aegis because it blocked it. I literally couldn't find a way to dodge it without blocking it, so. Why don't I see that second hook aura? Oh, it's because it's on my screen.
Do Romeo cook? He did. Romeo has probably been the hardest boss I've fought. Actually, nah. Laxasia, of course. I've not beat her yet, though. I need to see how hard I think they are after I beat them. You know what I mean? Like, Black, Lab Black Rabbit Brotherhood, the sequel, was really not bad. And Black Rabbit Brotherhood original wasn't really bad. I was getting cooked by Shrek for a while, but I simply learned the fight and it was was pretty easy. <laughs> Greetings, brothers. You can't be healed, Bard of Hyrule. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, good cosmetics. I'm actually rocking um, the workshop fit. I'm just a little twink. <laughs> and I've got the emerald glasses on. That's my fit. I'm curious how big the DLC will be. I wonder if they'll go like Bloodborne... Um, Elden Ring route where basically the DLC is like a second game almost or if they'll go the um what's it called route like the Sekiro route and make the DLC just like a gauntlet you know which I love Sekiro by the way I finished my new game 7 yesterday or my new game 6 I'm bound to do new game 7 even though I have 100% of the game, I still yearn for Sekiro. I think out of all the Souls likes I've played, like the uh, I've played three from Software Souls likes, DS1, Elden Ring, and the Sekiro. I think Sekiro is my favorite. It's very nice, but I think I still like Elden Ring more, like totally. But that's just because Elden Ring has like more content. Like, I wish Sekiro had like the Elden Ring level of content. But I think people also like Sekiro because you're Kisambi Maru, you know, you're a man with katana. It's just the way you dodge moves and the way you react to moves in Sekiro is just so satisfying. And I really don't find it as satisfying in Lies of P. Lies of P feels like you're fucking swinging at like characters with super armor. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like you would don you want to dodge some things. You want to you want to parry some things. Like it doesn't feel as fluid. I don't know. Liza P just feels so clunky compared. But I've not played Bloodborne, and maybe Bloodborne feels that way. Cause you know Sekiro was my first time with the step dodge system, but like the step dodge system isn't that bad at all if you get used to like sprinting and jumping, like you do in Sekiro. It's very important. Oh, there's a lot of grappling. So. You like the white lady stuff? Oh, that's drip, dude. Alright, we denied his pop, though. By finishing the gen. Damn, bro got a big head. Bro got a big head, dude. Unfortunately, these uh, resources have been consumed. I want to scream. Why? Damn, this UE is just doing nothing, huh? Just waiting for me to die. Nice, dude. We're hitting it with the big ol' swings, man. We do a little corner tagging. Oh, 
Let's go, dude. And I'm still watching this empty ass HUD, dude. Yui, I'm having this crazy insane chase here just waiting for me to die. What a sack of shit, man. Ooh, wrong rock. Fanny. Ah, well played. Wait, she's literally just waiting here. She's waiting next to a completed gen. Yeah, please kill her, dude. Holy shit. I'm also in complete to control my reactions to things, so I shouldn't, because it's nonsense. You're so mature. Just know something that's terrible news. Well, time to light one up. I don't smoke. Oh. Well, there's lots of ways to deal with your stress, yeah? And if I recall correctly, the Orchanta Pampa is a larger individual, so... I'm sure that just means we'll be stress eating later. Don't, 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 dude. Don't, don't, don't. It's okay, dude. It takes one to no one. 